Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Club Skin. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on Jesse Feinberg's famous or infamous Alpha cards. Yay! All right, so here we are. Here's the um, package. Nice packaging right there. We got a plastic bag. Fantastic. Um, as you can see, we have um, brand new somehow, even though it says. Right below it, created by Jesse Feinberg, Kai Hiri 2007, Jesse's Magic. Um, I did not buy this seven years ago. Uh, I got it for Christmas two years ago. Since then, I've never used it once, and I think I'm going to remain that way. Hopefully, you'll see why in this um, review. I'll try to keep it more of a review than a rant, but it's probably going to end up being more of a rant. There's the, one of the cards right there. Put that back. We'll talk about that later. Uh, alpha cards. Yay. Okay. As you can see, uh, it gives you a little basic thing. Thank you for purchasing alpha cards. You're supplied with two very special cards. It goes on to explain how they work. And despite my temptations, I will not tell you directly how they work, but um, it should be pretty blatantly obvious if you saw the trailer. Um, which, speaking of that, uh, you see this big black bold lettering right there? L listen to this. <clears throat> Warning! Flash paper will destroy alpha cards. Lighters will eventually warp and burn them too. Uh, it's really fun to experiment, so stock up on alpha cards at your favorite magic shop. Hold on, hold on just a second. Flash paper will destroy alpha cards. That's the first line in the warning. It's written in bold. And g guess what's on the trailer? Can we show that footage right now? That's right. That's right, right there. They just they light flash paper right on top of the card and it changes. Why would he even do that in the trailer if it's just specifically right here not to do it? What's even the point of showing that? Uh, doing something directly in the trailer you, that you cannot do with the gimmick. Oh. Alright, well let's go on to the simple effects. Believe me, they are quite simple. Um, the interesting thing here is that actually you can do these effects uh, without this gimmick. Actually, you can do these without any gimmicks. The first one is the transposition where you show uh, four of spades and uh, put it down on the table. You then show a four of hearts, which changes into the four of spades, and the four of um, hearts is shown to be the four of spades. So yeah, they're, they're both changed, they switch places. Um, you can do that with a simple duplicate. Uh, you certainly don't need this gimmick, and as I'll go on later, you'll find that it's difficult to impossible to do that with that gimmick anyways. Um, then there's a prediction where um, you place a card face down at the table um, and the spectator ch uh, chooses a card from the deck. Uh, it happens to be the Four of Hearts. Uh, the, the card is lost in the deck. Uh, and then you show that the, the cards of the Four of Spades which then changes to the Four of Hearts if you want to call it that. We'll get into that later. So, let's get right into the gimmick here. Which is just... I'm not even going to say anything. Yet. Look at this. You see this? If I bought a deck of cards that look like this, I would swear that they were cheap Chinese bicycle cards. They were cheap imitations. Look at this. They have a weird... Their card is cardboard. This is, this is that card. This is a normal bicycle card much much different and as you can see the side by side back comparison I think you'd probably get laughed at if you tried to get if you try to perform a trick with this by a layman even um, as you can see the the font is way more bold than it should be quite quite obvious um, and as for the the actual workings of this trick it's it's cool but it doesn't even really work um, and the trailer you can see the hearts, the spades turning to the hearts, and vice versa. As you can see here, let's see if we can get. You can see it's red. See if we can change, and it's still changing. Let's see if we can just go this way. Ah, it's working a bit better. You can see the inks turning black. Still going. It's working on it. There's a fan in my room right now, and it's still not changing too fast. Let's try this way. 
nope, still going. See, that's not completely changed. I'm not even. I'm not even setting this up. It's, just, it's still changing. It's. It's still changing. It's still sort of red, as you can see. Nowhere near as fast as it is in the trailer. Hardly works at all. Um, and it doesn't even work. It doesn't work. Um, when it's uh, supposed to be the hearts, it looks like an upside down spade without the little thing right there, uh, which doesn't look like a heart. It just looks like a four of spades that's red. Um, and I'm just going to go out and say this. When it changes, this part doesn't even disappear completely. Um, it still looks, like I said, it looks like a, a red four of spades. It doesn't look like a four hearts at all. It's just a terrible trick. Um, sure you get two of them, so, yeah, when you decide to burn one out of frustration, you'll still be able to do the, the trick. I mean, that's not even, that's not even accurate. You still won't be able to do the trick. It's terrible. Don't buy this at all. Um, I looked on Jesse Feinberg's website, and a lot of his tricks are, are copies, or just bad. Um, by the way, Jesse, who, um, on the Wizard product review, um, they there was supposed to be a review for your trick, um, Springboard, which is really um, actually Chet Nesto's Nesterizer, uh, except for it's a lot, it's made a lot worse when in Springboard, and there's a lot less effects on the DVD, as the Wizard product review so nicely pointed out. Um, I'll just go down here for dramatic effect. Um, yeah, most of his tricks are terrible. Uh, these are awful. Don't buy them ever. Um, I was thinking about doing the giving away in a giveaway, but they're not even worth it. That's not even a prize. They're not worth the shipping. Ah, they're terrible. Okay, do not buy them. Um, a lot of you guys are probably going to get angry at me for doing this, but this just needs to be done. The, it's a terrible trick. There's no potential for it. It's just awful. That being said, I'm Ace of Club's Kid, and I'll see you later.